So if you use Microsoft Intune to manage macOS devices, you probably ask the question, why is it not easier to deploy DMG files? And that is a fantastic question. Well, in today's video, we're going to be looking at how you can use this new public preview to deploy DMG files in just a matter of clicks. So let's take a look. So now we're in the Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center. Let's go have a look at how we can add a DMG application for macOS. So we're going to go ahead and go to apps. And then from there, I'm going to select macOS. And then we can go ahead and select add. From here, we can look at the app type and at the bottom, you can see macOS app and then in brackets DMG. And this is exactly what we need to be able to deploy a DMG file. And this is a say it's currently in preview as of recording, but let's go have a look at what you can do. So once we hit select, now we need to select our DMG package file. So from there, we can then browse to our DMG on our computer. In my case, I'm going to browse to Blender and then go ahead and hit open. Now we can just go ahead and hit OK. So from here, you can go add all sorts of information about your application, like its name, description, and the publisher. And those are all required. So you're going to need to do them regardless. Then you can add things like categories if you want. Maybe you want to add more information around privacy information, who owns this application. But in my case, I'm just going to go ahead and select the logo for Blender just to make this look a little bit cleaner. And then once you've done all the different modifications that you need, you can then go ahead and hit next. Now from the requirements section, we need to choose what's going to be the minimum operating system for this application. And of course, you're going to go want to read the documentation for the application that you're installing. In my case, I know for Apple Silicon, if I'm installing Blender here, I need to be on at least Mac OS Big Sur. So I'm going to go ahead and select that and then hit next. So from detection rules, the first thing that you have to think about is whether or not you're going to ignore the app version. And the way that this works is if you leave this as yes, then what you're basically saying is that, look, my application can automatically update and therefore I don't want to worry about what app version we're detecting on the device. The other way around is that if we select this to no, what we're saying is, look, we're going to update the application ourselves. So we're going to go package up another version of Blender and then deploy it, which in this case for Blender, it doesn't automatically update. So we're going to go ahead and select no. So the next thing that Microsoft Intune here uses to detect whether the application is installed is we have to give the app bundle identifier and the version number. And this is really so we can see whether there is presence of that app on the device. So there's a few things to note here. You're going to have to go do a little bit of work to go find out what the app bundle ID is and the app version. And there's two ways of doing this. First, you can do this from the Mac terminal. And effectively, what you're going to be reading for is the CF bundle identifier and the CF bundle version. And you're looking for the app. So in my case, we're using blender.app. But in your case, you might have a different application. So instead of in the string here that you see on the screen, instead of using blender.app, you're going to want to put in your own application. And then the other way around of doing this is you can actually go find within the contents of your application. So you have to install it first on your device and then go have a look at the contents. Then you can open up the actual info.plist file for that application. And then you can go find out the CF bundle identifier and the CF bundle version. So there's a couple of ways around of that. And I will, of course, put the link in the description so that you can read about this after we've gone through this video. So once you put your app bundle ID and app version information in, let's go ahead and hit next. Now, at this point, you can add scope tags. I'm not going to, so I'm going to hit next again. And now we need to assign this to a group. And you may notice something here. This may not look like some of the other applications that you've done before. There's no uninstall, there's no available, and that's absolutely right. The only thing right now inside the DMG deployment within Microsoft Intune is doing required installs. So just bear that in mind. We're not going to be able to automatically uninstall the application or any of its data afterwards here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to add group. And then in my case, I just have a group for Intune and then required applications. So I'm going to go ahead and select that and then hit next. Now at this point, we can see all the information that we've got. We know it's going to be Blender. We've got our logo in here, our minimal operating system. We're ignoring app versions, so on and so forth. And we have this deployed as required. I'm happy with that. So I'm going to go ahead and hit create. So now that we've hit create, the last thing to happen here is that 
our application is just going to be uploaded to Microsoft Intune. And then after that's done, we're going to get a notification saying it's finished. So at this point, we can go have a look at the actual Mac OS device and see how Blender is getting on being installed. So now that we're on my Mac, we can see that Blender is not installed on it already. So if we give it a little bit of time, we'll see that Microsoft Intune is going to push Blender down as a required application. And there we have it. Blender has been installed. We can now load up the application, which went on my other screen, but I can drag it over. So here we are. We can now see that Blender is installed and working on my device. And that was so simple to get going. So the last thing I want to show you is the monitoring then for a DMG application. So if we just go ahead and click into Blender from the overview page, first of all, we can see, look, one device has installed this, one user has installed this application. We can then also go to the device install status and see what's a device name that's installed this, the UPN, and some information about the Mac. The other thing we can do is go to the user install status and we can see, look, who's a user that's installed this application, any of their failures, installs, and pending. So as final thoughts, I think this is a great step forward from our Intune team. Of course, this is a preview right now, so there are a few known issues and I'll put a link in the description. And please put your comments down below of what you would like to see and maybe we can give that feedback to the engineering team. And with that, I think you're gonna enjoy this video over here and we'll see you next time.